So long. Everyone, the train will be here soon. Okay, girl. Don't you what is wrong with you? today? It's the Contessa. She's insatiable. Insatiable! Thank God you're here. Thank you, God. I've been eating for days. I've gained so much weight. It's the worry, Tacitus. It's killing me. Uh, calm down, Algernon. This is calm. You should have seen me yesterday. I nearly ate the cat. She says such cruel things. Well, I got you the things for the girl in New York. That strumpet, I don't care about her. She's trade. She's common. Her father lends money. It's so vulgar. Oh, damn her. It's the aristocracy. It's the old families. It's the last of the old guard. It's the Contessa Tacitus. I love her. Well, love or not, you owe me for these. Oh, money, dear boy, I don't give a fig for money. Here, here, take this money. Money is beneath me. This? It's quite a bit. Enjoy it. Uh, spend it on love, on beauty, on amore. Sure. Now, Tacitus, I need more orchids. Here, here's the list. These are very rare. I plan to declare mm. my love like a god. Mm. In flowers, in beauty. Oh. All my life, the times we shall spend by the lake in Lombardy. Oh, Tacitus. Well, it sounds... Divine. <clears throat> it sounds divine. I saw a lady on a bicycle, you know. My dear, she took a right across the road.
Why are you doing that? Yeah. So, Dutch, what's the heaty like, anyhow? It's men, like Mr. Bronte, like Mr. Cornwall, that ruined the West. Arthur, there you are. Come on! Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <sighs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you, though I do. <clears throat> well, uh, leaving love aside, uh, <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Oh. Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. Arthur, go for John. See those two? Stay out of sight. Have you got a shot? Something creepy about these statues. <laughs> you don't like naked women. You taking them or me? It's like someone's looking at you when they're not. <laughs>
house. Shoot that lock, Arthur. Good. Now take that damn door in. Arthur. God's sake, let me look out. I didn't even ask you. up there. Let's go. God damn it. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. I think Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. Come on, Morgan! We're getting the hell out of here! Big man, we gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing, you mean nothing, you stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never 
understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be disposed of. Oh, Our friends of oh. the are gonna come and rescue you, you uh, repulsive uh, little maggot. Uh, oh. 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 <laughs> Call them now. You call them! Jesus! What part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow? Good goddamn alligator, Dutch! The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. You okay, Jack? I'm scared, Uncle Arthur. It's gonna be okay, kid. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Okay. Sadie. Morning. You look pissed off. <laughs> no more than usual. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like it. It's the right plan. We've done the work. I've been in town, looking, watching, and, and waiting. I've, I've tested it as well as I can. It's the right plan. Oh, I know. I just... Well, Morning, between you Arthur. and me, I'm nervous, I suppose, I suppose, that's it. You're never nervous, that's been my job all these years. I know. <laughs> Jim? Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the... Diversion, that's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying, it's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. They'll pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light.
You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Hosea, get moving. We ain't got all day. Ho! Oh. This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina. Then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? <laughs> Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some big town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Got it. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on. Yeah. Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Well, one more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah. Nice and easy through town now, boys. Hitch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. <laughs> this. This had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. <laughs> I love that Hosea! He is a true artist. <coughs> Who do you think 
think you are? Okay, now then, Arthur, would you please have Senior Bank Manager here open up the vault? Open the vault! Come on! for these safes. Tell them the combination. Come on. Got it. Okay, now, what's the second number? Seven. All right, should be one more number. Last number. Come on. 54. You get that, Mr. M? 54. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> what did I tell you? Holy shit, they weren't joking. should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains, no more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America! You can always cut a deal! I've given you enough chances. Hello! <laughs> Hosea! Hosea! God 